here to talk to you about chasing steam. Woo woo! What is chasing steam? What's up, guys? Ken Manube with Picking Duck here to talk to you about chasing steam. Woo woo! What is chasing steam? It's all about following that money train. Choo choo! Who follows that money train? I know you guys follow that money train. Now, let me tell you, give you an example of what chasing steam is is about. So. Uh, right now, we got the Raptors and the Warriors about to play. The Raptors opened up at plus three and a half. They're currently at plus two and a half. Now, what steam is, what a steam move is, is when the line drastically moves. So it took maybe a couple days for the for the line to go from plus three and a half to plus two and a half but if you uh, if that line opened up at plus three and a half and then all of a sudden it just changed to plus two and a half and with a drastic drop it didn't go to three and then two and a half you know so if you see it like a quick change like one point or one and a half points right away that is a steam move now the question is do you want to chase that steam what that means is you are let's say it's at the plus three and a half and then it dropped down to plus two and a half chasing the steam means that you're trying to find the line where it's still at plus three and a half you're searching around you know because uh but you got to be quick you know but you you really got to understand what caused that that steam move to change from uh either a plus three and a half to plus two and a half something like that what what caused that change you know um was there some unreported injury was there some uh some information that some people got that's not yet out yet um you know or was it some sharp betters making the line move now when they're sharp betters uh, they can make the line move and they will bet one side only to counter their bets on the other side so in this example let's say they hammered the raptors at plus three and a half that would give uh that would so raptors plus three and a half warriors plus minus three and a half right now they they hammer the the raptors that drops the line raptors are now plus two and a half warriors are minus two and a half so now what they can do is now they have a more favorable line for the warriors now they go even bigger on on the warriors on that minus two and a half now they just set themselves up for a minus two and a half on the warriors um now that is where the steam move gets a little bit tricky so if you were chasing steam you'd still be looking for where is that line at plus three and a half for the raptors that's what i need because that's that's really uh that's really where everybody's betting on that's what i want that's where the sharp betters on but in reality you may not really know that they're actually on the minus two and a half and they fooled the public uh, because that's what sharp betters can do. They can fool the public into thinking this is where they're going, but they're actually going another way. So pay attention to the line movement. Understand what's causing that line movement so you know uh, what to take when when you're betting on, on these line changes. Now, one thing is regarding those line movements is never buy the points and i used to buy the points and that's a topic that we'll talk about later but you know when when you're trying to squeeze out margins in your sports betting that's the main reason that you shouldn't be buying your points that's all i want to share with you guys today the game's about to start i want to show you also my new gear better culture hat we're doing a deal right now let me show you the shirt So we got a sale going on right now. It's 25% off. Go to Better Culture. There you go. That's how you spell it. Betterculture.com. Uh, the code is I am new. I M N E W. It's 25% off all your gear. That that's that code will be up for till tomorrow. So go get some gear. Have a good night. Good luck on your bets today.